Lieutenant Lucy Mai making my final report. Location, the Sahara Desert, North Africa. If anybody finds this, it means I failed. <laughs> but if I failed, then there'll be nobody left in the world to find it. I'm attempting to carry out my last orders from General Woodman. The other members of the team are missing. I can only presume they didn't make it. I blame myself for underestimating the genus. My only hope is to complete the mission of detonating this nuclear bomb at the bottom of that dry well. The blast should turn all the sand within a radius of 20 miles into glass, imprisoning the genus. Regardless of all else, ugh, I must ugh, complete my mission. Racing along the sand. Hunting the genus like nothing could stop us. Little did we know that the tables would soon turn. What do you have, Ira? Anything? Uh, nothing yet. They have to get within a meter of the surface before the satellite scan picks them up. Okay, here we go. I got three genus surfacing at vector 35G. Roger that. They're in our sights. Let's drench him, LT! Can't get a clear shot! Hang on, I've got him. It's almost as if they're toying with us. Dr. Kane! Don't sweat it, Lieutenant Lucy. According to my calculations, there's only three of them. Have you ever heard about the Battle of Kanai? Nope, but I got a feeling you're gonna tell us. In 216 BC, Hannibal lured the Romans into a trap and then annihilated them. Well, I doubt these stage two genus are on par with the genius of Hannibal. Relax, we just round up these three genus and head for home. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I've got some sweet tickets to the all-world women's volleyball championships in Lisbon, and I don't want to miss it. Um, Harry, hope those tickets are refundable, because we got a problem. Oh, man. It's lunchtime, and they're fixing to have an alienator sandwich. They're flanking us! All right. Go ahead and say it, Lieutenant. <sighs> LT, I love how you can turn I told you so into one syllable. be in the center of attention, but it's starting to be a little much. It's exciting. They're hunting us like a pride of lions, using a pack mentality to encircle their prey for the final attack. It's not that exciting, Ira, seeing as we're the prey. We can't hold them up for long! Wait, we passed an old ruined temple a few clicks back. Get us there, fast! You got it, Dr. Kane. I'll put the pedal to the metal and we'll be moving to the groove. Wait, is 
there wiper fluid in that? Nope. When the temperature gets hotter, just use water. Works to live by. They're not following us. It's the rock ledge. I've never seen anything so amazing. According to the data from that last fight, I've deduced their patterns. They run together in a pack, breathing salt from the sand, like we breathe oxygen from the air. And they can move through the sandy soil like it's water. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the desert. No! Oh, I can't believe it! Not only am I wasting excellent tickets to the all-world women's volleyball championships, but I can't even pick up the game on the sand crawler's con screen. Now we'll never know if Maya Stavatsky of the Russian team continues her serving streak. Do you know that girl has served 38 consecutive aces in the last two games? Um, Harry, I think we have bigger things to worry about right now. Well, the bad news is that we're trapped in the middle of the burning desert with a limited water supply and no way to contact anyone for help. The good news is we're being circled by the genus monsters. That's the good news? Yes, because according to my calculations, they're not evolving anymore. They've perfectly adapted to this environment. And right now, they're focused on hunting just one thing. Us. Yeah, isn't it great? We're saving the world just sitting here. So here we must stay. The unforgiving desert sun burned down on us as we sat trapped upon our rock. The genus was out there, listening to the movement, circling, waiting. And in the meantime, Dr. Kane used his technical expertise to create a distress beacon. Alrighty, let's see. Green crossed with white, always right. Blue crossed with red, makes your radio dead. Wayne worked on upgrading our hazmat suits to cope with the enemy and the harsh environment. And Harry worked on my very last nerve. What do you think they're doing now, mm. Do you think Maya Stavatsky's serving? Do you think she's continuing her streak? Oh, maybe she's acing somebody right now. You think? You think? Every day, we got weaker while the genus was out there looking for a chance to strike. Yeah, it's just another one of my stupid mutations. <laughs> Genus! <Whoa>! There! Just add water. The genus wasn't our only enemy. We had another, the desert. The water was soon gone and we all suffered from the relentless heat. I can see the volleyball. It's a perfect serve. Well returned by the Spanish. It's up at the net and whoa! A beautiful spike and the crowd goes wild. I can even hear the crowd cheering. Ugh, honey, I can hear it too. That's no mirage. That's a helicopter. might give us an edge. Oh, quick! Quick, 
tell me, tell me, who won the final two slots in the volleyball championship? What? The, the game, the game! Uh, sorry, Dr. Reed, but we've kind of lost Harry. <laughs> General, run for the stairs! Job, General. We gotta move. When you didn't report in, we started a search and rescue operation. Finally, we picked up a beacon. It was an SOS that spelled out genius in Morse code. It had to be you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> we came as soon as we could. Uh, yo, Dr. Kane. We're down to an eighth of a tank on the Selenium. Thanks for checking, kiddo. That's not enough, but I've got a theory. These genus adapted to desert conditions by evolving with sodium. Water dissolves the salt crystals, causing devolution. If we add water with our last bit of selenium, it would destroy the outbreak. The only trouble is, we need a lot of water. I don't think rain is in the forecast, Dr. Kane. I suppose that means we need my backup plan. We can use this thermonuclear bomb to blast the whole area. You mean we risked our necks at the crash for a bomb? Ah, oh, come on, give me a break. No, wait. The General's right. Kane, you must have sunstroke. It sounded like you just agreed with me. I did, and I'll show you why. We need to get the bomb down deep enough. That way, the nuclear blast would turn the area to glass, encasing the genus monsters and stopping the outbreak. Well, that's a plan. But how do we get out of here in time to escape the blast? We don't, Harry. Hey, nobody said saving the world was going to be easy. Hmm. No, I'll never get to see the final championship volleyball game. <laughs> You've got to admire a man who has his priorities straight. I've located a dry well not too distant from here. It should be a good starting depth. We'll use the drill to put it just a little deeper. Well, it's not chromed out, but it'll do the trick. Then it's agreed. Whatever happens, we follow the plan and detonate the bomb for the good of the planet. Agreed. Gassy, no! <gasps> Lieutenant, there's no point. It won't make any difference in the end. No, sir. I can't let it happen like that. Not Wayne. Lieutenant, we'll take the sand crawler. I'm happy to see you too, stink monster. Sinkhole! Wait a minute. That's it! Huh? Iro, what are you doing? Trust me. Ah! Oh. 
addicted to the noise of the motorcycle. Well, as long as it keeps them off my back. Oh, fireman's carry. In good form, Lieutenant. Wayne! Wayne! Oh. Hang in there, kid. Pull yourself together, soldier. You've got a job to do. Okay, okay. How to distract those things long enough to get a head start. Okay, play with that. Time to finish this. Regardless of all else, I must complete my mission. scenario has been devised. When I saw the sinkhole, it gave me an idea. It was risky, but it was our only chance. You see, the theory which we just proved is that there's an extensive underground aquifer system under the Sahara Desert. A lot of renowned scientists disagree, and I can't wait to see the look on their faces when we... Get to the point, Kane. Basically, we found all the water we needed to wipe those salt monsters out. So we filled the tanks to the brim and came looking for you guys. Well, I hate to interrupt story time, but it's not happily ever after just yet. Sir, Doc, my post? Go, go! I found it! I found the pod! You see, that's why I couldn't find it earlier. It's what I've been missing, and it was right in front of me the whole time. They're nomadic. They're carrying the pod with them. Oh, isn't that fascinating? Where? Over there! Hurry, it's getting away! If you don't stop it! Don't worry. This pod's got my name on it. Good work, people. Come on, what do you say we clean up this mess and call it a day? I can't tell you guys how excited I am to actually be at the final game of the All-World Women's Volleyball Championship. <laughs> well, I knew how much it meant to you. And Dr. Reed helped make the arrangements to fly us straight here. That's the least she could do. After all, we did save the world. That was it. Maya Stavatsky has made history in what just might be the play of the century. Oh, wow, Harry. Did you see that wicked serve? Oh, you were right. Volleyball can really be exciting. 